Arcade Classics 2 for Game Boy. A compilation of two classic Atari arcade titles in Millipede and Centipede. Now Centipede got its own individual Game Boy release sometime prior. We covered that in a prior video ages ago. But this collection is the first and possibly only instance of Millipede on the old vintage Game Boy. So right off the bat, if you wanted some Milla centipede busting action on your Game Boy, then this would be the way to go about it. But would you really want to? Well, let's find out, shall we? For those who have never played either Centipede or Millipede, you control this blaster thing and you are charged with slaying the titular Centipede or Millipede depending on the game you're playing. Blocking your way are tons of mushroom trees that you have to blast away as well as the occasional critters such as spiders, flies, and things of that nature. Centipede is the earlier game, while Millipede is the sequel that adds sticks of dynamite that you could shoot to blow up and possibly cause some damage, alongside some other nicks and knacks that wasn't in the other game. On a purely superficial level, both games are pretty much the same in terms of gameplay and presentation, so there's no real point in giving these games truly in-depth looks because both play the same way and both suffer from similar issues. Kinda. Sort of. On the surface, both Centipede and Millipede operate the way they're supposed to, so if you've played any other version of these classic games, you'll know what to expect, and as such, there are no surprises to be had here. The gameplay is good old-fashioned traditional arcade fare, and control here is pretty functional. At least on Centipede, where it's reasonably easy to control your blaster. On Millipede, however, your blaster moves about way too quickly and tends to be much more difficult to control properly. Now, a fast-moving blaster shouldn't be an issue for a fast-paced shooter, but unfortunately, both games suffer from slow gameplay. And when I say slow gameplay, I mean the game plays very slowly. Not due to slowdown or any technical issue, but just in general. Starting on the easier levels means watching your blankipede sloth its way downwards at a speed so non-existent it's almost sad to watch. And while speed does pick up as you play, it never gets to a point where it feels as speedy as other iterations of these classic games. This lower difficulty might make it worthwhile for novice players, but long-time centimillipede players might scoff at the relative easiness of this overall package. Much like the rest of this arcade classic series, this compilation features Super Game Boy compatibility, which basically means fancy arcade cabinet-like borders and special color schemes. There's a nice touch where the color palette changes between levels, and you can play two-player with either one or two controllers, which is neat. Setting that piece of business aside, Centipede and Millipede do look the part. You can make out the Blankipede, the mushroom spiders, and other bits and bobs. Millipede has slightly more detail to it, but not by much. Sound is somewhat of a weak point, sound effects are somewhat irritating, and the musical jingles aren't fantastic, nor are they particularly welcome here. Overall, Arcade Classics 2 Centipede and Millipede on the Game Boy is a mixed bag. It plays the part well enough and it works the way it's supposed to, but the slow gameplay may be a hindering factor for many folks who want a fast-paced arcade port on the go. And if that's the case, then there are plenty of other ways you could play these classic Atari arcade titles that are more true to the source material. Consider this version a trainer iteration of sorts to prep you for the real thing. And that's really all I got. Sorry.